I want to understand uh, how it works and uh, what are the conditions and uh, can we do something in this uh, matter. And it's a private individual account. Uh, can we transfer this to LLC? Uh, what is going on if they suspend my account? Briefly explain to some that uh, I have experience in uh, dropshipping in Amazon. Actually, more than three years, I used to have an account which was very good working, and uh, but uh, it was suspended by Amazon in August. It was uh, profitable. I earned seven, eight thousand uh, dollars, even more per month. They closed this account, so I have opened a new one to my sisters. It's a brand new account. It was opened uh, two months ago. I have buy box there and uh, not more than 10 uh, sales. I just keep this account. I have a company in Bulgaria, but I do not have any LLC in the States. And uh, that's it. So is your sister's account working or he's suspended also? No, it's working. It's uh, in very good account uh, health condition. I don't uh, upload any products. I have not more than five products and I keep it just to be in good health. No, I do not upload any products and so on. So what's your questions here? Uh, I do not uh, know anything about your business. I was uh, watching one of your uh, videos uh, and uh, I want to understand uh, how it works and uh, what are the conditions and uh, can we do something in this uh, matter? Okay, I will be very short with that. First, uh, we have uh, two options. The first option is to work with a customer about dropshipping. The second one is FBA. As you already know, they from time to time, they suspend accounts in Amazon and we can't do anything. So I'm not Jeff Bezos. I need to be honest with my uh, customers because uh, you know that in Bulgaria, uh, everybody know me and I don't want to lose the trust of the people. So I'm honest with every client. Even you are the new client, you never see me before. I will be uh, transparent with you because you need to know what the service to expect. We currently have uh, very big clients. I am s- it, It's okay to say that. Uh, some has uh, 40 people in India. And our option to the clients for now is they give us access to their accounts. They also give us money, the minimum amount that we need to start in Amazon because you know that they pay uh, two weeks and we need to have some balance uh, is $10,000. So after they give a give to us access in the US market or UK market, we do everything. Then Sam and his team do everything after that. And our target is to make good money for for us and for our clients. So when you pay money, every payment is with invoice from our side. Even you are without LLC, we don't care about that. We give you a document because we have LLC and we need to add profit. So when you send money, you uh, receive documents about that. You need to have a positive balance. What I mean? Because we was having so not good experience with our clients in past. Some of our clients just was on negative balance. We made orders for them. We spent a lot of money and they stopped replying and they revoked access. So because of that, we have a rule. If you are to uh, balance close to zero, some two, three hundred dollars, we stop placing the orders before you load the money. Then you're responsible for the payments. You can prepay it one or two thousand. It's not a problem. You can send money every day. It's not a problem. Then uh, at the end, you don't need to care about the customer service ordering anything you just put the account to work and after we generate sales you have profit we split the profit with our part we pay to the associates we pay our taxes with your part you need to pay if you want you need to pay the taxes (laughs) if you don't want you don't need to pay the taxes what i mean the profit is uh, everything that you will receive after you pay all the taxes in amazon sales taxes items and, and everything. Uh, Sam, can you can you share with Plamen uh, how it's looking some of our accounts, just to understand what I mean? Okay. Yeah, and, of course. Svetan, I have a question. Uh, what is your commission about uh, this service? If I choose uh, this, service? I don't have any commission. You work with my office. Yeah. What is the commission of uh, Sam's people? For example, from the profit at the end of the month. Let's say, let's uh, say we split I... the profit 50% for the customer and 50 for us. With our 50, we pay to everything, to the associates, to the suppliers, to the... With your 50, you... Uh, because we have uh, suppliers of the services, uh, sometimes you can be suspended. We need to reopen your account. Then you you just 
give us the account, uh, access and money and we do the all the dropshipping business. Even you are now, uh, you are not beginner, you are experienced. You don't need to work on that account. So they do everything. Of course, you can do the dropshipping business yourself. You can manage it yourself and you can take the 100% of the profit. It's up to you. My deal here is yeah. not, I don't have a course. It's not a mentorship program. Uh, this is a service Then you provide us Amazon account and money and you receive the profit after that. But we take the okay. 50% of the profit after deduct all the taxes and amounts that you don't know before you, you made sales, how much taxes you need to pay. Surely. Okay, I, I have one more question. As uh, this account that I have currently is to my sisters and it's a private individual account, uh, can we transfer this to LLC? Because for some categories, maybe it will be better option to have LLC. Is it? Is yeah, you know that some sometimes they very hard and look the categories. So, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, we so, can transfer it, but you need to create it. I can support you with the bank account how to create bank account, how to create LLC, how to uh, open ETIN number if you if you need it, I can do this for you. But uh, you need to open uh, sister's account for yourself because it's the sister's part then. Uh, we need account that it's working. I, I pay my taxes, but I, I, I don't care that you pay your taxes. So I will give you invoice even you send me money for the from the personal account because I pay taxes. But you pay yeah. taxes or not, I'm not the policeman. I don't care about that. It's up to you. Yeah, we no, have clients no. that work with a stealth accounts. They buy stealth accounts, they buy bank accounts, they buy everything. And they are they are pretty pretty happy of that because they didn't pay any taxes after. Yeah, I, I have such friends, but I prefer to, uh, to pay all the taxes because uh, in this way, everything will be fine. So I don't care that I will pay here in Bulgaria 10% or 15% uh, including uh, uh, this payment. So uh, my question is, uh, may we switch this uh, My Sister's account to LLC account in the States? And then how I'm going to transfer this uh, income to my Bulgarian uh, company? Because uh, I will operate with my Bulgarian company. I will need LLC to getting easier to drop shipping model in the States. But uh, the final company will be the Bulgarian one. Why you want to transfer the profit from USA to Bulgaria? I, I don't know. I, 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 up to now, I worked uh, like this. I pay all the taxes here in Bulgaria. I didn't have uh, uh, LOC in the States. I don't know if it's uh, better for me to have LOC. Okay. I will explain you clearly what I mean. In uh, USA, you didn't have a VAT number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you made a $10,000 profit this year, you need to pay maybe a little bit more or less, around 10%. This is what you need to pay in, in US. If you transfer that money as a service in Bulgaria, in your Bulgarian uh, LLC, <laughs> so you need to pay the VAT tax because this is a service in USA and you need to pay 10% taxes and you need to pay 5% for dividend. Yeah. Yes. So That's you why... you need to pay uh, 20% first of that, second, 10% taxes and after that 5% dividend. Uh, and you need to pay for the accounting here. Uh, I don't know how to say Osigurovki, etc, etc. In USA, I just received my one of my letters from Inc. Clan because they are my personal uh, company for that. See how much I pay. Just to will send you a screenshot here. This is my annual fees that I need to pay. No accounting, no anything. I pay annual res registered agent fee, $150. This is for a full year. And I have forwarding address 275 and I have business license 85. So let me calculate this. If I am only with LLC and I load the money with my bank account directly to Bulgaria, I take them from the ATM, don't care. I will have $150 for the registered agent 275 for the forwarding, 85 for the tax that I received. This is $500 yearly, yearly. So average per month, I need to pay uh, $42. In Bulgaria, let me check my bank. But Cetan, sorry for interrupting yeah. you. My accountant uh, up to now, uh, he said that uh, I do not uh, have to pay here this 20% for VAT. He said if the business is in the States, 
it's a zero VAT. So I have to pay only 10% tax and 5% for dividends. And you don't have the VAT registration? No, I have. I have, but he said that this VAT is zero uh, for such services. He's experienced uh. enough. I, I don't know, but he said I have a lot of friends that are doing this business and some of them uh, didn't pay uh, VAT. He said it's VAT, but the percentage of this VAT is zero percent. As your mm. business is in the States, it's not in Bulgaria. That's what he said. And I trust him. I don't know. He's experienced enough and I don't know. But uh, for sure it will be... Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Even you don't pay the VAT. Yes. Because uh, you need to be, uh, what I mean is not that you need to pay the VAT of your profit. You need to pay VAT accounting. This is more expensive. How much you pay uh, monthly for the accounting? Uh, hold on. Now I don't have any bit, but previously 250 levers, it's uh, around 150 dollars, let's say. Then you need to pay every month. Every month, 250 lewa, right? Uh, yes. And also, I will share you one again. I will share you one more uh, screen here. Then every month, my LLC in Bulgaria cost me. Uh, this is, I will skip the tax for accounting because the current one is not with VAT. So uh, 65 lewa plus 94 lewa plus 104 lewa plus 193 lewa. This is around uh, 456 lewa and monthly it's 260. And if we compare 260 per month, this is around 3000 per year with the LLC in USA only $500. Dollars. So I don't yeah. see that, I don't think that it's necessary to pay the Uh, everything in Bulgaria. You can just use the LLC in USA and load from the ATM and uh, it's it's much more clear. I, I don't understand why you use Bulgarian firm and in same USA. Why you do this? Up to now, I never knew how it works with LLC in the States. When I started, uh, friends uh, of mine that uh, ha have started together, they knew this business model. So I uh, made a Bulgarian company and uh, from Several months, I understood that uh, most of them already moved to AOC in the States. So, at the time, you mean that uh, the tax in the USA is zero? You pay only this uh, yearly payment and that's mm. it? Yes. Uh, and you fill one declaration. You need to fill one uh, to, to fill the declaration here to the IRS and uh, to, to send it to the address from, from DHL. And uh, you pay your taxes uh, using the payment providers. They have a lot of payment providers. In, in this situation, may I switch my sister's uh, private individual account in Amazon to my uh, to AOC that is owned by myself? Yes, I send you link to Ink Plan. They have uh, at the top center corner, uh, the top center of the page, a uh, free 30 minute consultation. So you can do this. You can say that you are from the zero to success in Bulgaria. You know me, I send you as a client. It's free consultation. It will cost you around, uh, let, let me share the screen. Can I share the screen with you? Yes, yes. Okay, did you see the screen now? Mm, not yet, yeah. Just, yes, I see. First year it will cost you $500 dollars and you need to buy the business license. Mm -hmm. That's it for the whole year. After mm -hmm. that, you need to pay this that I send you already. Without a uh, Usigurovki every month, without yes. accounting, without anything. Okay, Tsitan, but I mean uh, from Amazon's perspective, if I, uh, I'm the owner of uh, this uh, LLC, me personally, And uh, as I already, as uh, I, I already had uh, an account that have been su suspended, is there any possibility Amazon to make connection and to say, oh, this is the same guy who already has uh, suspended? No, account? no, they then they don't care about that. They will see only, they will see. They don't. Uh, going to see the final owner of uh, this LLC. They can see, but how much people can can have a Plum yeah. and Ganev name? Okay. Then. So how, okay, okay, I got it. But how then is it easy to transfer my sister's account to be owned by the LLC? So 
So you are going to support me this probably to change uh, the owner of the Amazon account. You just account. need to connect. Uh, you can open the OC to your sister even. I think that this is much better. Uh -huh. You just can open okay. the AOC of uh, your sister. It will be much more easy for you personally. Okay. And uh, it will be easy to uh, attach uh, this AOC I number uh, to Amazon uh, account, right? Yes, right? yes. Okay, so now I need to have this AOC and then how much time uh, Tsvetan, it takes to open this uh, AOC? Mm, it depends, but only for a number it is around one or one and a half month. Okay, so if I start, uh, let's say tomorrow in one month, I will have this AOC and uh, we can start because I have uh, this amount of money. I have another question. Uh, what is going on if they suspend my account and uh, we cannot uh, withdraw? Do you have such an, uh, cases up to now uh, to suspend the account and cannot to withdraw the money? Because a friend of, yes, friend of mine... Yes, this is one of the risks, but they yes. give you the money after some time, right? Um, I'm not sure because one friend of mine opened an account, maybe, let's say, five months ago. Uh, I explained him how to do this and... Uh, at the very beginning, he started very well. He did 30, 40 sales per day. And in two weeks, they closed his account and they would withhold uh, the money. And up to now, he didn't uh, take this back. It's around $2,000, I think. And okay, I, I, will I will interrupt over here. Okay, let me, let me tell you something. Amazon, if keep you under review, okay, Try to understand the each point, okay? If you permanently suspended, then Amazon will return your money, that's guaranteed. They are not going to block your money if you permanently suspended, okay? And the another scenario, if your account is under review and uh, Amazon asking for the information, might be your uh, identity information or it might be your product information, until that, if you don't provide those things, they will keep your money in hold. Uh, because, you understand the two scenario? Yes, but uh, they, they said that uh, for one of the products uh, that uh, he sold, the ASIN, he needs some permission uh, to sell this product. He didn't have uh, such documents. He wrote uh, some point of action and they said your account is suspended. And there was written that in 90 days, there was an email to Amazon where you can uh, want your money back. So now he's waiting uh, to pass this 90 days and his money are blocked now. He tried oh, to... see, so that means it does not, the money is blocked. It means that Amazon takes uh, 90 days, three months to re return his money. It does not mean that money is blocked. Okay, you have so to understand I... those things. Okay, so in 90 days he will get his money back, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, I, mean, I mean, we are working uh, several uh, years with several clients. So, till now, I, I do not see anything that Amazon did bad with any client. Yes, they suspend your account. That's for sure. But they will not keep the money. They okay. will return your money after certain days or certain months. That's okay. for sure. Okay, thanks, Sam. Okay, so Tsvetan, what I need now, uh, if I need any help, now, now first of all, I have to create this LLC. And then bank yes. account uh, and something uh, do, if I need any support to call Sam to you and to, what is the process from now? From you now? can write me here. Uh, if you want to understand mm -hmm. more about the LLCs in USA, you can go to the ink one. Uh, in yeah, the I in the seminar, I, I, I currently uh, usually don't do this, but <laughs> if you are from Bulgaria, most of our clients are outside Bulgaria. So uh, in, in the dropshipping course that I have, uh, I have a seminar that Geomio show all the additional documents that you need to use. And uh, it is in the dropshipping course. And uh, to be honest, 90% uh, from my clients from Bulgaria are already in my course and I am not sure that you dropship in eBay and my, maybe you are not from the course or uh, no, I, I didn't I see you in the system actually. No, you no, find no, me this I year. Have... Yes. Uh, so we have this education in course, but it is only uh, what documents you need to provide, the certificates, how they look, 
just uh, give me a go with one uh, folder with all additional documents and share them one by one. You can sure. you can take the course uh, just to watch it, uh, or you can ask me one by one all the things here in Skype and I will support you. It's it's uh, it's okay for me. Okay, I will talk to my sister and if there is no problem, I will open this LLC to her name. But if uh, she said that she doesn't want to bother her, uh, it's okay. You can use Bulgarian one, it's not a problem. But I don't think that it has some sense to do the LLC in USA, LLC in Bulgaria to transfer the money. You will pay a lot of extra taxes. I, I don't think that this is a good idea. And U USA is better because you will have bank account You in USA. It's much better. And for example, when I send money here in Bulgaria, and if uh, the tax authority asks, uh, okay, you have uh, regular uh, incomes from the states, what are these from? I can explain, okay, I have... They don't see anything. Yeah. You just go to the ATM and load the money. Okay. If they okay. ask you, you can you can take the your taxes in USA and say, okay, check it. I pay them. Okay. It's not a problem. You can show them. I pay them. And they will say, that's it. Okay. This is the... Okay. The normal way that the the things work, I have LLC in Bulgaria, I have in UK, I have in uh, USA, but never anybody in Bulgaria ask me from where I take money. From where? You, you, you have money. Then you go to the ATM, load the money, use it. I, I don't think... Hey, of course, if you buy something for 1 million and you don't pay any taxes here, they will ask you, but you have proof. Uh, we have, uh, I will say it in Bulgaria, Sporozumenia za dvojno današno oblaganje. Agreement for double taxation or something. Yeah, that's it. We have that. Okay. okay. But uh, ju just one question. If my sister uh, say don't bother me, there is no problem just to qualify to open this LOC on my name. Uh, you can do it. I, I think because you say that you are worried, I think that you can just open it for uh, to your sister and to not worry about that. I'm not sure that uh, you was right uh, when you said that uh, Amazon doesn't care. They see one LLC, they are not looking who is... Of course. I have uh, I have friends with 10, 15 accounts on different LLCs. Once after Amazon stopped one of them, the another one still alive and still working because you have LLC, you sell the products, this account is verified, it not uh, broke the rules, then nobody care. So it is easy then to transfer this private individual account to business account with the new LLC, right? Yep. Yes, it is. It is possible. But until then, you can start uh, maturing your account because you said that already your account is two months old and there is around 10 cells. Yes. Correct? Yes. There is any feedback? Uh, yeah, I wrote one feedback. I, I did one purchase uh, from my uh, buyer's account and uh, wrote one positive in order to have a uh, better account help. I have just one uh, positive uh, feedback. Feedback, okay. So uh, as Mr. Switan says that it will take you to around one and a half months, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can, uh, we can do just uh, make your account individual to professional. Okay, it, it, it is, will cost so professional. I think I pay forty-eight dollars uh, or forty per month. It's individual professional, right? 40, now. Yeah, it's it's a, then it's forty dollars, so it's professional. So you can give a child access. Okay, user permission. O okay, you you need to user permission to. Okay, I will write you later to give you user permission to tell me what information do you need, and I will give it to you. Don't don't worry about that. Don't rush yourself about that. Okay, and, okay, I will say bye for now.